very good morning dear aspirants environment and ecology environment ecology is a unique topic in upsc preliminary examination what to study in environment ecology what to read to get right mark in environment ecology how to approach current affairs to get the right answers in environment ecology this is a million dollar question in this analysis i'll be looking into 2017 2018 and 2019 discussion and in this part one i'll be looking into 2017 questions and the answers related to and this discussion will give you absolute clarity what is the type of question upsc ask in environment ecology first of all i'll be looking into the topics from which upsc frame the questions and after that topics discussion i'll be looking into the concern questions of that particular topic the understanding of the topics and the question related to that particular topic will give you the right approach you are required to have to read and understand environment ecology dear aspirants welcome to learning radius in upsc preparation the most important strategy required is survey analyze study and revise once again in upsc survey and analyze the previous question nature and character then study and revise the current affairs with understanding is very very important survey and analyze the previous question nature and character then study and revise the current affairs with that understanding Understanding the nature and character of UPSC questions will help you to study current affairs with utmost clarity. What to study? That is the most important question in UPSC preparation. This video gives you a clarity regarding the topics from which UPSC framed questions for preliminary examinations. So don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the videos and notifications. And also download Learning Radius app to get updated current affairs and question papers. the online assessment test in learning radius app help you to cover and understand your standard of preparation in all topics when you work out online assessment test in learning radius app you will get separate pie chart and all india ranking for each test this analytics will help you to sharpen your overall studies in this video i will analyze the topics of environment and ecology related questions of upsc preliminary 2017 and the part 2 2018 and in part 3 2019 The topics from which environment and ecology questions framed in 2017 UPSC preliminary examinations were Satyamangalam Tiger Reserve, trade-related analysis of fauna and flora in commerce, that is traffic, advantages of bioremediation technique, Chandipur seashore, fall in the population of species of butterfly, algae-based biofuel, carbon sequestration. river chista sika virus wildlife protection act 1972 animals cannot be hunted global climate change alliance himalayas western ghat pulikat lake biological oxygen demand un habitat climate and clean air coalition indian ocean dipole gharials water conservation in agriculture and strips schedule one of the wildlife protection act 1972 kunapalpur wildlife sanctuary in a very fast manner let, let's look the topic once again kunapalpur wildlife sanctuary schedule one of the wildlife protection act 1972 m strips water conservation in agriculture gharials indian ocean dipole clean climate and clean air coalition un habitat biological oxygen demand himalayas western ghat pulikat lake global climate change alliance wildlife protection act 1972 animals cannot be hunted sika virus river chista carbon sequestration algae based biofuel fall in the population of species of butterflies chandipur seashore advantages of bioremediation technique trade related analysis of fauna and flora and commerce satyamangalam tiger reserve let's come to the questions related to these topics the very first question is from the ecological point of view which one of the following assumes importance in being a good link between eastern ghat and the western ghat satyamangalam tiger reserve nallamala forest nagahol national park sichalam biosphere reserve so it's a very easy question as a direct question from the ecological point of view which one of the following assumes importance in being a good link between eastern ghat and the western ghat the answer is satyamangalam tiger reserve Next question consists the following statement in respect of trade related analysis of fauna and flora and commerce 
Traffic is a bureau under United Nations Environment Program, UNEP. The mission of traffic is to ensure that trade in wild plants and animals is not a threat to the conservation of nature. Which of the above statement is a correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Let's come to the topic once again. Consider the following statement in respect of trade related analysis of fauna and flora and commerce, traffic. Traffic is a bureau under United Nations Environment Program, UNEP. The mission of traffic is to ensure that trade in wild plant and animal is not a threat to the conservation of nature. The second statement is right and the first statement as it is wrong. Traffic is governed by the traffic committee, a steering group composed of members of traffic's partner organization, WWF and IUCN. It is not related with UNEP. The first statement is wrong and the second statement is right. So from the options we can see, answer is B. Let's come to the third question. In the context of solving pollution problems, what is are the advantage or advantages of bioremediation technique? It's a technique for cleaning up pollution by enhancing the same biodegradation process that occurs in nature. Any contaminant with heavy metals such as cadmium and lead can be readily and completely treated by bioremediation using microorganisms. Genetic engineering can be used to create microorganisms specifically designed for bioremediation. Select the correct answer using the code given below one only, two and three, one and three, and one, two, three. Let's come to the topic once again. In the context of solving pollution problem, what is the advantage or advantages of bioremediation technique? It's a technique for cleaning up pollution by enhancing the same biodegradation process that occurs in nature is absolutely right. Any contaminant with heavy metals such as cadmium and lead can be readily and completely treated by bioremediation using microorganism, any contaminant with heavy metal, that is absolutely wrong. Third one, genetic engineering can be used to create microorganism specifically designed for bioremediation, the third statement that is right. So from the option, we can see the first statement and the third statement as it is right, and the second statement as it is wrong, and one and three is right. In the option, you can see the statement one and statement three as it is right, and two is wrong, and the answer is one and three. Next question is, at one of the places in India, if you stand on the seashore and watch the sea, you will find that sea water recedes from the shoreline a few kilometers and come back to the shore twice a day and you can actually walk on the seafloor when the water recedes. This unique phenomena is seen at Bhanagar, Bhimunipatnam, Chandipur and Nagapatnam. Here is a very direct question. It is a phenomena we can see in Chandipur. Let us come to the next question. Due to some reasons, if there is a huge fall in the population of species of butterflies, what could be its likely consequence or consequences? Pollination of some plants could be adversely affected. There could be a drastic increase in the fungal infection of some cultivated plants. It could lead to a fall in the population of some species of wasp, spider and birds. Select the correct answer using the code given below one only, two and three, one and three, one, two and three. Let's come to the statements once again. Due to some reason, if there's a huge fall in the population of species of butterflies, what could be its likely consequence or consequences? The first statement, pollination of some plants it could be adversely affected. That is absolutely right. There could be a drastic increase in the fungal infection of some cultivated plants. That is wrong. And third one, it could lead to a fall in the population of some species of wasps, spiders and birds is again right. So the first statement and the third statement as it is right and the second statement is wrong. So we can see one and three as it is right. Let's come to the next question. It is possible to produce algae based biofuel, but what is are the likely limitations of developing countries in promoting this industry? Production of algae based biofuel is possible in seas only and not on continents. Setting up and engineering the algae based biofuel production requires high level of expert technology until the construction is completed. Economically viable production necessitates the setting up of large scale facilities which may arise ecological and social concerns. Select the correct answer using the code given below one and two only, two and three, three only, one, two and three. Let's come to the statement. Production of algae based biofuel is possible in sea only and not on continents. That is wrong. 
setting up and engineering the algae based biofuel production requires high level of expertise technology until the construction is completed absolutely right economically and viable production necessitate the setting up of large scale facilities which may raise ecological and social concerns that's also right so the answer two and three is right and one is wrong so two and three is right that is b the statement two and statement three is right and one is wrong so right from the option we can see answer is b two and three let's come to the next question in the context of mitigating the impending global warming due to anthropogenic emission of carbon dioxide which of the following can be the potential site of carbon sequestration abandoned and uneconomic coal seams depleted oil and gas reservoirs subterranean deep saline formation let's look to the options one and two three only one and three and one two three let's come to a statement in the context of mitigating the impending global warming due to anthropogenic emission of carbon dioxide which of the following can be the potential site of carbon sequestration abandoned and uneconomic coal seams is right depleted oil and gas reservoirs is right subterranean deep saline formation that is also right so that is one two and three all the three statement as it is right so the answer is d one two three let's come to the third let's come to the eighth question let's come to the eighth question with reference to river tista consider the following statement the source of river tista is the same as that of brahmaputra but it flows through sikkim river rankit originates in sikkim and it is a tributary of river tista River Tista flows into Bay of Bengal on the borders of India and Bangladesh. Which of the statement given above is correct? One and three, two only, two and three, one, two and three. Let's read the statement once again. With reference to River Tista, consider the following statement. The source of River Tista is the same as that of Brahmaputra, but it flows through Sikkim is wrong. River Rankit originates in Sikkim and it is a tributary of River Tista that is right. River Tista flows into Bay of Bengal on the borders of India and Bangladesh. That is wrong. So when you look into the option, only the second statement is right. The first statement and the second statement as it is wrong. So obviously, answer is B, two only. Let's come to the next question. Consider the following statement. In tropical region, Zika virus disease is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmits dengue. Sexual transmission of Zika virus disease is possible. Which of the statement given above is correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Let's come to the statement once again. Consider the following statement in tropical region, Zika virus disease is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmits dengue, right? Sexual transmission of Zika virus disease is possible, that is also right. Here, both statement as it is right, both one and two, that is the answer that is. C. Let's come to the next question. According to the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, which one of the following animal cannot be hunted by any person except under some provision provided by law? Gharial, Indian wild ass, wild buffalo. One only, two and three, one and three, one, two and three. According to the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, which of the following animal cannot be hunted by any person except under some provision provided by law? Gharial cannot be hunted, Indian wild ass cannot be hunted, wild ass cannot be hunted, all three, one, two, and three. Obviously, the answer is D. Let's come to the next question. With reference to Global Climate Change Alliance, which of the following statement is correct? It's an initiative of the European Union. It provides technical and financial support to targeted developing countries to integrate climate change into their development policies and budget. It is coordinated by World Resource Institute, WRI, and World Business Council for Sustainable Development. Select the correct answer using code given below 1 and 2, 3 only, 2 and 3, and 1, 2, 3. Let's come to the statement once again. With reference to Global Climate Change Alliance, which of the following statement is correct? It's an initiative of the European Union that is absolutely right. It provides technical and financial support to targeted developing countries to integrate climate change into their development policies and budget. That is also right. It is coordinated by World Resource Institute and World Business Council for Sustainable Development. That is wrong. There is nothing to do with WRI and WBCSD. 
so the first statement and the second statement is right and the third statement is wrong you can see the answer as it is a 1 and 2 let's come to the next question consider the following statement in india the himalayas are spread over five states only western ghats are spread over five states only pulikat lake is spread over two states only which of the statement given above is the correct one and two three only two and three one and three now let's come back to the statement in india the himalayas are spread over five states only is wrong western ghats are spread over over five states only that's also wrong pulikat lake is spread over two states only that is right first statement and the second statement as it is wrong third statement is right so obviously the answer is three only himalayas are spread over almost all the northern and northeastern states of india western ghats travels the states of kerala tamil nadu karnataka goa maharashtra and gujarat so it is six so answer is the first statement and the second statement is wrong and the third statement is right the answer is b only the 13th question biological oxygen demand bod is a standard criteria for measuring oxygen level in blood computing oxygen level in forest ecosystem pollution assay in aquatic ecosystem assessing oxygen levels in high altitude regions it's a very easy question it's a direct question biological oxygen demand in a standard criteria is for pollution assay in aquatic ecosystem let's come to the next question with reference to the role of un habitat in the united nation program working towards a better urban future which of the statement is correct un habitat has been mandated by the united nation general assembly to promote socially and environmentally sustainable towns and cities to provide adequate shelter for all its partners are either governments or local urban authorities only un habitat contributes to the overall objective of the united nation system to reduce poverty and to promote access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation select the correct answer using the codes given below 1 2 and 3 1 and 3 2 and 3 1 only let's come back to the statement once again with reference to the role of un habitat in the united nation program working towards a better urban future which of the statement is the correct a un habitat has been mandated by united nation general assembly to promote socially and environmentally sustainable towns and cities to provide adequate shelter for all is absolutely right its partners are either governments or local urban authorities as it is wrong un habitat contributes to the overall objective of the united nation system to reduce poverty and to promote access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation that is right the first statement and the third statement as it is right the second statement is wrong you can see the answer is one and three that is b let's come to the next question climate and clean air coalition ccac to reduce short-lived climate pollutants is a unique initiative of g20 groups of countries the ccac focus on methane black carbon and hydrofluorocarbon which of the statement given above is the correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two climate and clean air coalition to reduce short-lived climate pollution is a unique initiative of g20 group of countries that is absolutely wrong it is not an initiative of g20 group of countries the ccac focus on methane black carbon and hydrofluorocarbon that is right the first statement is wrong and the second statement is right you can see the answer is two only Next question with reference to Indian Ocean Dipole, sometime mentioning the news while forecasting Indian monsoon, which of the following statement is a correct? Indian Ocean Dipole phenomena is characterized by a difference in sea surface temperature between tropical western Indian Ocean and tropical eastern Indian Ocean. An IOD phenomena can influence an El Nino impact on the monsoon. Select the correct answer using the codes given below one only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Let's come back to the statement once again. IOD phenomena is characterized by a difference in sea surface temperature between tropical western ocean and tropical eastern Pacific ocean. That is wrong. It is tropical western Indian ocean and tropical eastern Indian ocean, not tropical eastern Pacific ocean. An IOD phenomena can influence an El Nino impact on the monsoon. That is right. 
the first statement and the second statement if you look the first statement is wrong and the second statement is right and the option is b2 only next question is if you want to see gharials in their natural habitat which one of the following is the best place to visit bitterkaniga mangroves tembal river pulicat lake dibor bill it's a very direct question it's an easy question it is tembal river next question is which of the following practices can help in water conservation in agriculture reduced or zero tillage of the land applying gypsum before irrigating the field allowing crop residue to remain in the field select the correct answer using the code given below 1 and 2 only 3 only 1 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 let's look into the statements once again which of the following practices can help in water conservation in agriculture reduced or zero tillage of the land that's right applying gypsum before irrigating the field that's a wrong statement allowing crop residue to remain in the field that's a right statement when you look into this three statement you can see first statement and the third statement is right and the second statement is wrong reduced or zero tillage of the land is right allowing crop residue to remain in the field is right and applying gypsum before irrigating the field is wrong so the answer is 1 and 3 let's come to the 19 question the term m strips is sometimes seen in the news in the context of captive breeding of wild fauna maintenance of tiger reserve indigenous satellite navigation system security of national highways it's a very easy and direct question the term m strips is sometimes seen in the news in the context of maintenance of tiger reserves the android based monitoring software m strips will be used across all the tiger reserves of the country it's a very easy question let's come to the 20th question in india if a species of tortoise is declared protected under schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 what does it imply it enjoys the same level of protection as the tiger it no longer exists in the wild a few individuals are under captive protection and now it is impossible to prevent its extinction it is endemic to a particular region of india both b and c stated above correct in this context if you look into this particular statement in india if a species of tortoise is declared protected under the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 what does it imply it enjoy the same level of protection as the tiger let's come to the final question recently there was a proposal to translocate some of the lions from their natural habitat in gujarat to which one of the following state kobet national park kunapalpur wildlife sanctuary mudumalai wildlife sanctuary and sariska national park is a very direct gk recently there was a proposal to translocate some of the lion from their natural habitat in gujarat to which one of the following it is kunapalpur wildlife sanctuary so my dear aspirants in this particular part 1 environment ecology i try to answer one question how to study what to study and what to be concentrated while reading newspaper what type of questions you are supposed to expect from environment ecology and in this video i explain 2017 question and that is the part 1 and in the part 2 i'll be concentrating on 2018 and in part 3 i'll be concentrating in 2019 and you can also watch environment ecology analysis of 2020 that gives you absolute idea regarding how upsc is framing questions in 2020 and from which current affair upsc framed the questions so happy reading to all of you environment ecology is a very easy area if you understand the nature and character of the question then you can read newspapers and magazine as according to requirement and you can crack all the questions happy reading to all of you meet you in the next video part 2 thank you thank you all